Hey guys, I haven't painted in a very long time and this is my first painting uh, not only in a while but also my first painting on fabric so I'm painting a denim panel today um, that's going to be sewn into a jacket I've started working with um, I Love Thelma Lou recently and they have uh, a wonderful channel um, to purchase on Etsy and Instagram. Okay, everybody. So I'm well, going to do this here, here with you and we're going to learn together. Ever painting on I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, and um, here we go. The first one that I'm doing. So I'm just going to do this little tutorial. Um, I started off by drawing with a yellow sharpie and it covers up really well once you get to the outer edges and it doesn't make like a solid black line that you don't want. So this is the, the kind of basis of started layering some colors on here. I have the denim piece pinned to the top of a plastic storage tub. Actually works really really well so that's on my easel there. Then this is your most important thing here. This is just a small bottle that I bought to just test out. It's a textile medium. That's what you want in order to mix with your acrylic paints. So you just want any water base doesn't really matter what it is uh, acrylic paint in all kinds of colors i just had whatever i had in my stash here because this is my first one that i'm painting with and your brushes and your pens and whatever you need you're going to need some water and what you're going to do is you're just going to put little blobs of your acrylic on and then just drop a few drops of the fabric medium into each puddle and mix it round really really well so that just gives your your paint more um, kind of like liquidy kind of feel that's a term <laughs> so as it goes on it doesn't kind of set hard um, on the fabric and then you just go ahead and paint and layer and do whatever you need to do and then um, the next step will be the heat setting which I will show you then as well but anyway here we go let's see to show you here I'm trying to <laughs> video this and hold it at the same time it's not that easy but see how the fabric medium actually allows you to um, kind of have a lot more pull on the fabric I'm gonna, sorry um, getting it a little out of focus but um, yeah so it doesn't stay dry on the fabric as you're pulling it down it actually goes and lays itself really nicely uh, you can keep smoothing onto it this um paint that i'm using is a pearlescence so ugh, that was bad all right so just wanted to show you how that actually goes onto the canvas so you're able to move it really nicely onto the denim or whatever fabric you're going to paint with. It doesn't dry and set as you're moving the brush. So this next bit I'm just showing you step by step um, as I'm layering different colors and as the piece is moving along. It was a lot of fun. I worked with um, a pearlescence uh, paint as well which gave it a lot of dimension and um, really pretty reflections uh, so I really enjoyed that I'm going to buy a few more paints um, with that pearlescence in because as I say I really um, like the effect that it gave so here we go here's more of the completed piece so you don't really have to do right. the heat seal so with acrylic paints um, I just piece. decided to go ahead and show so you at the end the of the video anyway down. Um, on the denim, like I say, the fabric medium allows you to paint way easier. Um, you get a smoother finish, you're able to blend, it doesn't dry quickly, which makes it difficult to blend. Um, so I'm just waiting for it to dry completely and then you have to do the heat set, uh, which is the ironing part. So there you go. And we'll put the whole video up soon and I'll show you the ironing and how it turns out after you've washed and, and tumble dried it. Okay, here is the last step to painting on fabric. We're going to heat seal the painting now. So there is my painting on denim. This is white craft paper. 
So I just place that over the painting. And then, um, okay, so I've placed the white craft paper over the painting. I have the iron. Um, it's not on steam, so don't add heat with steam, just add heat. And we're really just going to iron over the painting with the heat. And you're going to heat set that. You don't have to have it on super high. Just um, enough heat to seal that fabric. Textile medium and the acrylic paint in. There you go. So the other way you can uh, heat seal things in is by just tumble drying. Whoops. Okay, I am now going to put it in the tumble dryer for a little while. So I do everything on delicate cycle. All right. Just adding some heat and softening up the painted area. And I'll just leave it in there for like five minutes. Take this out, and that's it. Boom, heat sealed and done. And ta da! Here is the finished product the painted panel sewn into a jacket sold on I Love Thelma Lou.